Put the seatbelt on, man. Silent Hero Films, man. Y'all click the link below, man. This video is for Jarrell Big Baby Miller, dog. Bishop Lamont got a song. Everybody go listen to Bishop Lamont. I ain't heard it in a few years, but it's called Grown Up. I'm, I don't know why that song didn't make it big, but basically it's time to grow up. Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Without Wilder and Anthony Joshua, the two men you love to hate, you wouldn't have a payday. Saudi Arabia is not paying you as a main event. You are probably the third or fourth best fight on there, which I'm very interested in. You and Daniel Dubois, very interested in that fight. And uh, God bless. God bless the firemen and God bless the people that they're going to save. Um, it's uh, it's so so important that you time to grow up, man. Like, there's a big difference between Paulie Maldonado, Paulie Maldonado, Paulie Malinaji's side piece, and Deontay Wilder's girl. Now, let me get in this. I want no smoke from you, Jarrell Big Man. Miller. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a fake tough guy on the internet. I just speak truth, and I respond to what's said publicly. All right. I met you one time in a Fox Hills mall. Very charismatic. Like you. You know what I mean? I think you're cool. I've had, that's it. Blue Blood says you're a cool dude. I love Blue Blood. So I'm going off his word. You're a cool dude. All right. Now, moving forward. It's just a big difference. Grown men can't respect you now. Like, because that's his wife. She bear his child. And talking about other women's sex escapades is like talking about an old man because he's old. You're basically spitting in the wind. Spitting in the wind means it's just going to come right back on you. I don't know if you have children, Big Baby Miller. I'm, I've never seen them. Uh, I, I'm assuming you're a great father. And... Uh, the mother of your child or your wife, fiance, <laughs> wasn't a virgin. Everyone has a history, man. And um, I, one of my biggest regrets as a 46 year old man now is my number. You know what I mean? When I was in it, it was cool. You know what I mean? But right now at 46, you know, no father. I wish I would have been more steadfast on what the main thing is. And this is why I want to teach you young men. You know what I mean? Not just black men, men. Because your son or daughter will be on a basketball team, a soccer team, a choir. We'll go to college. We'll go to high school. We'll go to middle school. Elementary. With not just black people. And, uh... Now, you can always give reverence to people you associate with, which is great. I do it all the time, you know. I'm an independent. I'm independent, so I can hire who I want to hire, right? Now, moving forward. Jarrell Big, let me get into the meat of this. Jarrell Big Baby Miller. As a grown man, it's hard for me to respect you because I have a family. I have a wife. I have a woman who bore children. And as a man, I, I look back and I'm like, dude, it's not funny anymore. Paulie and Adrian Brona played in the streets. So they're playing in the streets. You're playing with a grown man. And without them, you don't get paid. Your association to them is what the attraction is. Just understand the big picture. big. And everybody's sending this to Big Baby Miller. Because at the end of the day... We don't want Big Baby Miller as a bodyguard in Brooklyn. You know what I mean? When you could have been a brand. You've squandered opportunities because of you. You chose to inject that stuff in your body. Top rank hired you or signed you. You did that. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm all for redemption. I'm all for team get better. I'm all for 
I'm a Malcolm X guy, El Haj Malik El Shabazz, right? Too bad not many of us know who El Haj Malik El Shabazz was the last 18 months of his life. You know, um, I, I believe in redemption. I went to jail for two days on a petty theft and I learned my lesson right then and there. I'm never committing a crime. I might jaywalk every now and again and this and that and you know what I mean? But outside, I don't even litter no more. I don't even litter. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm not saying I'm holier than thou, but you get my point. So I understand redemption. I understand that uh, the crack e epidemic did something on the black community. Now I do, I do know it's it's a choice to do drugs too. You know, I I I, I and I also understand that that there is a systemic oppression, and I also understand that playing victim plays into the hand of systemic oppression. So I understand all of that. So so there's a level of empathy in me at people who work hard and fight and fight and claw and fight and claw, fight and claw. I don't respect people who become obese and then want to sue McDonald's. I don't respect people who sell drugs and say I had to sell it to black people because I needed a job. I don't respect them at all. I don't respect people who say I had to commit a crime against a black person. No, you didn't. McDonald's in 2023 is paying $17 an hour in Los Angeles. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So, Darrell Big Bay Miller, you on the clock, man. I'm watching you. It's going to be a good promotion. If you blow this opportunity, this is your last opportunity in 2023. <laughs> the nerve of me to say this is your last opportunity. Like, I don't know. You know, but I'm just saying, you, in, you back in big time box, you on the card with Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. Come on, man. Grow up. Go listen to that Bishop Lamont song. It's time to grow up. Stop talking about other people's wives. You know what I mean? Because someone dated your baby mama. Right? Um, it's, that's just it. I don't go... I've dated many of celebrities. And, and I'm using... Dated in quotation marks. I've never come online and told you some of the celebrities I dated at 19. I think... My first celebrity was at 18, because 18, I was in the club at 17. Had a fake ID. 18. All my best friends, futon. And Sunday, Monday, I'm going to college, and there she is on TV. And, and you know what? It's not even a conversation anymore with my friends. It's not even a conversation. I grew up on the west side of LA. That's why, that may be one of the reasons why I, I'm not a, I'm not a, I, I don't idol worship. I, I took a girl off a poster and put her on my best friend's futon at 18. You know, so shout out to Gotham. Shout out to Gotham and Santa Monica. If you from LA and you partied at Gotham and Santa Monica in the mid 90s, Century Club, salute, salute, salute. Anyhow, as I digress. And, uh, but, uh, um, that's just what it was, man. And I, I, I've never, I've never mentioned it since I had a video. I mean, since I've been on YouTube, it's no point. It does me no good. If, if you catch me on a good day having a private conversation, yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I, it's not made for public consumption. You know what I mean? Like whoever is in the room, th that's the one thing you got to learn about sexual escapades. Whoever is in the room is the people that need to know. That's it. You know what I mean? You only get one aha. You know, keep it a buck. So, y'all go ahead and have a great day. Jarrell, Big Baby Miller. I want you to win, man. I want you to win. But talking about people's wives in your mid 30s, I'm assuming you're in your mid 30s. That's corny. That's corny. Because grown men can't respect that. Married, grown men, men, men that's raising stepkids. How about Jarrell? Are you raising a stepkid? I don't know. But if you're raising a stepchild, and you're talking about Wilders. I don't know all this to be true. Shit. I think Wilder's the man for convincing a woman, I'ma just keep it a buck, to be a stepmother. Wilder gotta be Wilder must got the gift of gab. Because Wilder won a whole fucking basketball. This guy cursed. God, that's my first curse word. I'm mentoring now and all that, so forgive me. Um,
I'm in front of kids every day. But Wilder wants a basketball team. He won 12, and he won two on IR. You know what I mean? Shout out to Wilder. That's one of my biggest regrets in life. I, I should have had more kids. I got seven bedrooms, eight baths, and only two kids in my house, man. And I'm looking at y'all. Have kids, man. Be a father. Raise a family. Get married. I'm telling you, that's the biggest mistake that I made, man. Lincoln is nine. So 10 years ago was the first 36 years old, man. I should have happened. It's one of my biggest regrets, man. I'm just keeping it a buck. I wish I had at least four kids, man. I wish Lincoln had a brother to compete against. That's probably my only, re probably my only big regret. You know, I mean, the other regrets I can't control. I want 20 more years with my grandfather, you know? Minimum, you know, I'm selfish. You know, I never had an adult conversation with my grandfather. He died my senior year in high school. So, you know, just keeping it a buck with y'all, man. Like, uh, so Big Baby Miller, man, you on the clock, man. Don't disrespect another man's wife ever again. All right, that Floyd Mayweather stuff Floyd used to do when he used to when he used to in, imply that that's corny, man. That's corny. You know what I mean? I'm multi in LA. I have multiple. I have many options. I don't choose them, but I'm saying like, money affords you opportunities, man, and it's not always cracked up to be, man. I'll just say that. It's not. It's not. Being a father, being a Hall of Fame father, being a Pro Bowl father, being an NBA All-Star father, being a unified, undisputed, undefeated champion as a father, and a complete family man. I'm talking about in my house and the people that love me. You're going to see Thanksgiving. I'm going to have 100 people in my house, man. They're coming to my house because... Love is there. I'm going to have over 100 people in my house. My side, Dre's side, your side. That's what it is. Barbershop conversations, man. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. Got about 40 kids running around, jumping in the pool, having a good time, playing basketball. We got eight bathrooms. We good. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. And, um, yeah, man, I'll talk to you guys soon. Jarrell Big Bay Miller. Go listen to that Bishop Lamont song, Grow Up. Peace.